hello guys welcome back to the channel so today we are going to solve another interesting recursive and backtracking problem called tug of war so what is tug of war problem so initially you given an array with positive and negative integers you will have to partition them into equal subsets uh, let's say you have an even array with uh, negative and non negative integers you have to partition them in sizes n by 2 each and the sum of their differences should be as minimum as possible so in case the size of the given array is odd you have to partition them into two subsets with a size of n minus 1 by 2 and another one with n plus 1 by 2 and the sum of the two subsets when subtracted from each other must be as minimum as possible okay so let's consider this following array as an example so the size of this array is 11 so we have to partition this into two subsets of sizes n plus 1 by 2 and n minus 1 by 2 and the difference of both the sum of the two subsets should be as minimum as possible of course you can do you, can, you may think that if I divide this array by 2 and then subtract both the sums you may end up with 0 but that's not the goal here we have to get the minimumest the minimal difference as possible which may be negative as well so let's get started with this we create a function let me call it solve here I'll get the size and then I'll get the actual sum of the entire array now I'm going to declare two boolean arrays first one is solution of size n which is initialized with false by default and another one called as current positions I'll explain this when I'm solving the problem so basically the solution array is the one which we're going to be using to print the elements which is print the two subsets of the array after division such that their differences are minimum so current position will first contain our answer and that answer will be transferred to solution you'll understand better when i'm doing this practically so the next thing we need is another function which will actually solve the stuff for us let's solve util get in the array i get the size and i have the actual sum here which is this one and you know i have two boolean arrays called solution and current positions and i want one more parameter called as current position which will keep track of the current position in which we are traversing the main array that is element by element which will keep track of the index of the element we are traversing and we want another parameter called as current sum you'll know why and that's it and sorry one more thing which is uh, which will keep track of the number of elements we have encountered so far elements encountered right so we have to set the base condition which is the i told you the current position is going to be keeping track of the index of the element we are traversing currently so when this current position reaches the end which is the end of the array we return right and we have another base condition which is
so yeah return so what this condition does is it will ch uh, check if we have sufficient elements for the next subset uh, so we'll be working on creating the particular subset maybe first subset or second one this will ensure that we also have enough elements to populate the second subset when we have enough elements or if we reach the end we will have to recurse again until we reach this base conditions either of them we have to be increasing the current position and that's it let me come to the next line current position oh yeah so until we reach either of these two conditions we have to be increasing the current position in our array so initially it will stop it here in the first uh, traversal um, because the current position will reach the how let's say the, this is 11 element in this array when it reaches position 6 it will break because it will have sufficient elements to populate the other subset which is five elements we have uh, we'll have to create two subsets for this uh, 11 element array which is uh, of size 5 and 6 as i told you n minus 1 by 2 and n plus 1 by 2 sizes so we'll first we'll be creating the n plus 1 by 2 subset and as soon as we have sufficient elements to populate the n minus 1 by 2 size subset we will return and then we have to perform a set of operations which will be recursively called here the number of elements encountered will be plus plus because it will be the first element so the value of number of elements encountered will be initially zero and now it will be set to one and then we have current sum right here and we'll be updating this as we traverse through the new elements in the array the current position and then in the current positions boolean array we set the current position to be true or as visited uh, so that we don't use this particular element again in our next subset and now if we have reached the half of the array okay if you have reached half of the array which which means half of the elements are set to true in the current positions boolean array there are no elements left to traverse more so here i have to perform some set of operations if not if there are still elements to be traversed which can be added here uh, excluding the number of elements to be populated in the next subset we just perform this all over again simple or here let me create a variable here called as a max difference which will uh, basically keep track of the difference of the two subsets as we perform these operations and if we for all the answers we get for max difference if it is uh, smaller than the previous best answer it will keep updating the max difference variable which will be initially integer dot max value here we have to put a condition if max dot absolute because we don't want a negative number to be stored in a max diff so we know the we have the sum of the entire array right we divide it by 2 which will give you the normal sum which if you divide will give you 0 so the present sum here right it should be even less than the actual half of the array minus current sum should be less than the max difference in that case we set max difference to be this one and very important thing we populate our solution array which is a boolean data type right we got the max difference array and all the elements that took place uh, in performing this or fetching this answer should be recorded somewhere right so initially all the positions are recorded in this current positions array and all these positions should be transferred to the solve array 
I mean the solution array. Solution of i to current positions of i. As soon as the transfer is complete, we can backtrack current positions so that it may search for the next best answer to be set to false. And that's pretty much it. And as soon as we complete that, let me call this function here. Solutable. Some solution current position, current position will be zero. Some will be zero. Number of elements in count will be zero. Okay. Now comes the interesting part. Then n plus. So we have a solution here. For all the position in the solution array, which is true, will be our first subset. And for all the position that are set to false in our solution array, will be our second subset. So let me just print some message here. Let me call it first subset. Let me call this second subset. And that's it. Let me just try to print this. Let me call the main function here. Solve. That's it. On running this, I got the subset, the first subset, and the second subset. You can uh, apply a cross check for this. You can add all the elements here, and you can add all the elements here, and you can subtract both the sum of this subset and this subset, and you will get the minimal answer, minimal difference as possible. And that's pretty much it for uh, tug of war problem. If you have any doubts, regarding this or if you have your own best approach on solving this problem please uh, mention them in the comment section and don't forget to like the video if you learned something new today and subscribe thank you